Stevenson falls to Salisbury tonight. Glenn Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, um, you ran into a very hot goalie tonight. Um, they showed that zone look at you. Uh, what was your assessment of the decisions that your offensive players are making with their shots? <laughs> well, I think we got to do much better. I think we played kind of soft today in the offensive end, and they kind of came at us, and we didn't respond really well. So we got to do a much better job there. We got, we got good guys. They, they got to believe to be successful. Just a little uh, apprehensive right now and trying to get to that point. Um, we're all there to make the plays. Um, their goalie actually had his best game of the year with his 15, 16 saves. They did a great job. We got to finish opportunities. We need our guys to play like we know they can. No, they can. They're just a little off. If you told me we would have got 15 saves out of our goalie, won 18 of the 24 faceoffs, we would have outground balled them. would have told you we would we would have been a great we would have won that game but you know we can't be 0 and 5 in the man up uh you know we can't go 14 to 21 clearing the ball just throwing it away at times when it wasn't really that many wasn't really that hard and so we got to do a better job in those situations and it's close for us but you know we'll, we'll do better one of the things i know we've been talking about your face-off specialist justin bordner and you've been praising him all season even when the numbers weren't there just the work he was doing um, in the second half, it wasn't just that he was winning, it was that possession was coming along with it. How much did the entire operation improve tonight? Well, just, we, I think we're not a bad face-off team. You know, we just haven't had the success early on. So, you know, when your stats look at him, we're not a very good team. But Justin's been proved through the year, and he's getting better with the decisions. And we just, But we got to do things better. we got to help him out a little bit more, I think, in some situations um, there. And uh, we just got to execute a game plan. You know, I think we had a solid game plan, but we just could not execute it at times. And I think that really hurt us. And we got to do a much better job. And, you know, their zone, we didn't do anything we talked about you know you didn't do anything we practiced and it's really tough when you do that but that's on me as a coach and I got to figure it out and Salisbury obviously was better than us today and but I thought we did some really good things against them um, and you know and but uh, and limiting the, some of the things that they wanted to do but we gotta you know we gotta do better on paper you've gotten through the most difficult part of your schedule this is the way it is here you guys schedule the best teams in the country I, I know you would have liked to have come away with some more wins do you feel like the lessons that you have learned playing this most brutal part of your schedule will help you moving forward well I think it certainly weared on us you know what I mean playing all those teams and back-to-back -back top five teams and I think it weared on us a little bit you know we gotta you know get get our guys legs under us and get ready for Kane on uh, Wednesday uh, which we will so, but it's a tough schedule our guys like to play good games I like to play good games I think they want to do that and uh, it is what it is. We can play, um, do that. But we like when the lights are the brightest at Mustang Stadium in front of all the big crowds and all that stuff. And uh, it's a tough schedule, you know. But I think we can do much better uh, through that part of the schedule. But there's a lot of good teams now in the NCAA that play very tough schedules. If you look at St. John Fisher, they're 0 and 6, but they're a really good team. They just haven't been able to get some W's. Or you know, York's 3 and 4. They're a very good team. They struggle through some of their um, out of conference schedules. There's some really good teams that don't have great records right now uh, that are competing. But they'll be better as, as time goes and getting ready for hopefully a great run at the NSA tournament. All right, Coach, appreciate it. We will see you back here on Wednesday night. Thanks a lot. He's Paul Cantabene. I'm Glenn Clark. This has been GoMustangSports.tv.